dedicating just one hour to change your bad financial habits can add up to big savings. And maybe right now is the perfect time to commit to improving your finances. That's because this week is America Saves Week, and certified financial planner John Gakowski, the co-founder of Money Managers Financial Group, is here to share some money-saving tips. Thanks for being here, John. Thanks, so. Such an important topic, and for a lot of people, it's hard to even pay all the bills they have, let alone think about saving. Why is this week a good time to be thinking about it? What we're really trying to do is focus on the savings crisis in America. A recent study showed that over 50% of the population has less than $1,000 in their savings account, and 39% has absolutely nothing in their savings account. So really? it is a crisis. So if an emergency happens, they're out of luck. Yes, they're in a world of hurt. So what do we do? How do we start? It's hard. It's a process. Well, what we have to realize is it's a process. And what you want to do is get organized. And what we recommend for people is for them to take time every week and sit down. Uh, husband and wife, if that's the situation, take a look at all their bills. The other thing we do is suggest that they monitor everything they do for a month, three months, six months. Spend or monitor every uh, penny that they spend. Write it down so they know. Once they have that, they want to do is develop a budget so they know where the money's coming in, but more importantly, where the money's going out. Well, seriously, write down everything you spend because that's like you know four dollars at Starbucks or yeah. <laughs> I mean it's a lot of little things. But how does that help me? It helps a lot because it's unbelievable how much money just falls through the cracks. When you really look at it, it's amazing how much money we spend unconsciously. And those dollars add up. They really do. So I know getting organized is one of your main tips. Let's talk about what else we can do. Like I said, getting organized, develop a budget. What we want to do is take a look at the major financial leaks. Cable bills, uh, cell phone bills, home insurance, car insurance. Review those on a regular basis. What we find with our clients is if you do that properly, you can probably save 3 to 7% on those. That's money that can be going towards long-term savings. And, and really, it can add up quickly when you start to look at you know, different areas of your life. Does it take a lot of time? Because it, we were just talking about during the break that I'm busy. I've got this pile of stuff I've been sure. meaning to do, to get to, but it just seems overwhelming. It seems overwhelming, but if you have a strategy, it's not that bad. It seems like uh, an impossible mountain to climb, but if you take you and your husband take an hour a week and actually sit down and develop a strategy, what you can really do is start to chip away with it. And what happens then is momentum builds. And it's amazing how, how far you can progress in a relatively short period of time. It almost might get fun, I think, if you realize, oh my gosh, I just saved this much. Yeah, if you turn it into a game, uh, there's a lot of neat things that you can do that give you instant rewards um, and makes it fun. Okay, and maybe get the whole family involved is a good, Absolutely right. good idea. If you want more information on John's place, you can head to moneymanager.com, but that's M O N I M G R.com and find out more information about his group. Thanks for being here with all those tips today. Thanks, Al. I appreciate it. Always fun.